went on Lawrence McKenna's channel and said that Liverpool were going to finish below Man United and they weren't very good and you got some heat. <laughs> yeah, I did. But the point wasn't that Liverpool are bad. In fact, Liverpool are very good at the moment. It's just that they're a bit of an unknown quantity and they're in flux, probably even to Jurgen Klopp himself. Have you not even watched the first few games of the season? They took apart Villa, they won at Newcastle, they were probably better than Chelsea, at least given it was the first game of the season. Oh no, yeah, I'm totally with you on all of that stuff. But then why are you being such a dick about Liverpool? I guess I'm just saying there's a few reasons to just hold off calling them title challengers or nailed on for the top four or anything like that. I'm listening. Yeah, so the first thing is personnel. Yeah? Well, the obvious place is midfield. I mean, the midfield is changing in real time. No one was expecting Henderson and Fabinho to leave. And, you know, Liverpool's midfield presence and the physicality in their shadow has been such a big part of their success over the years. And it's like, overnight, it's gone. Yeah, but what good business. I'm not denying that, but it's going to change how Liverpool play completely. Because, you know, that midfield was mostly about direct ball progression, high pressure and feeding the front three. And now that's going to have to change basically overnight. Yeah, but that had to change. You know, Klopp is adapting it in real time. And if you'd actually watched the Villa game, you'd have seen that Sobislai and McAllister ran it and kept the ball so well. This is the new Liverpool midfield. Yeah, yeah, they're quality players. But Henderson did something with Salah and Alexander-Arnold that very few midfielders could. Fabinho was one of the best in the world in that position. And I'm just saying, I don't think it's going to be so easy to transition to a totally different model. Yeah, maybe. What else? Well, look, I love Trent Alexander-Arnold. I think he's amazing. But last year, he was a little bit underprotected and a little bit of fault in different moments. And he's been unbelievable with the ball at his feet this year. I'm not saying he's been caught out offensively or anything like that. But I also don't buy, as some Liverpool fans are saying, that the problem is just solved. I don't think it is solved. I think Klopp will work it out. But there are going to be trade-offs defensively, especially if you have him in a back four, even if it is a little bit inverted. None of this feels like a particularly strong argument. Okay, well then, how about this? Van Dijk is not the player he was, and that sounds like a cliche, I apologise for it. But, you know, for a couple of years he was imperious, and he's not anymore. And look, I love Joe Gomez, really, but he doesn't look like a Liverpool player at the moment. His confidence and is below where it needs to be. He hasn't had the run of game as at centre-half or at right-back. I thought he was going to play for England for 10 years, Joe, Joe Gomez but he doesn't look like a ready-made solution. And I've got reservations about Matip and to a lesser degree Canate as well. So I just think the back four, especially with Robertson getting a little bit older and having done as many games as he's done, doesn't look pristine or fantastic. I think it looks okay. Uh, we have one of the best back fours in the league. Yeah, maybe, but it's a level below cities and last year it was a level below Newcastle's and Arsenal's. And it just depends on how that midfield functions again, how much protection they get. And it's not obvious they're gonna get a huge amount. Yeah. Yeah, I did. What the fuck? I was mostly joking about the amount of money they've spent and the fact that they can always seem to sleepwalk to the top four despite not bit playing very well. But you could argue it, right? Like, Ten Hag is a year further in his process. They've just got a midfield player and they've just got some presence up front. There's enough in that United side and they're used to Ten Hag and it's a little bit less transitional than Liverpool. You could totally argue it both ways, but I think the idea that United, who were, by the way, an offside decision away from winning at the Emirates, and the whole conversation being different. I think everyone condemning them is super reactionary. I think they'll be fine, they'll work it out, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if they finished in the top four. They've been dreadful so far. Yeah, but they were awful last year at the start as well. Look, they might just drop off and finish seventh, but instinctively, I think United will come good, even if it is in this little bit pragmatic way that uh, Ten Hag really wants more than. Yeah, and you look like Kai Havertz, or like that guy off Friday Night Dinner. Yeah, I do. Well, I don't even look like Kai Havertz as a thing, but I'll take it as a compliment because I think the Friday night dinner comment was probably closer.